So my greatest career challenge was really in the early days of doing this sort of research. So I'm an architect, we didn't have access to lab and equipment that you would usually have if you're a biotechnology specialist. So we had to be a kind of guerrilla research organisation using equipment or lab benches where we could get it, but often without a lot of resource or funding. Hello, my name is Martin Dade Robertson. I'm the editor in chief for Research Directions by Technology Design. I'm professor of emerging technology at Newcastle University, and I'm also the co director for the Hub for Biotechnology in the Built Environment. I realised that this was a field I wanted to specialise in when I looked at an image created from an electron microscope of some bacteria who created these little calcium carbonate crystals that looked like buildings, they looked like architecture. My background is in architecture in the built environment and from then on I was just hooked in the field. The benefit of the question-led approach is that it allows us to set the agenda for research. That means that we can respond to emerging ideas and research questions and also begin to start to direct the community towards questions that are of real importance to the research community. So we hope that this journal and the journal platform will allow the publication of research that would never have had a venue before. And that will lead not only to the development of new types of research, but actually opening up the domain of biotechnology to a greater number of different fields and research questions. Mm -hmm.